Hey everyone, it's Justine, and when you're a busy mama and you only have a couple minutes, here's the intro today. It's from my kitchen. I'm baking bread, but that's okay. Today I have a really easy technique using embossing powders that you might never have tried before, and I'm excited to show you a technique that is quick, easy, and simple. So we're going to get started creating that, but before we do that, I do want to let you know, in case you're not subscribed to my newsletter, that the 12 Days of Christmas is now available to grab your free ticket for. So 12 Christmas card tutorials delivered straight to your inbox for free, but you got to sign up in order to get them. So this is going to be my only Christmas card, I think, on YouTube this year because I have gone to a newsletter approach just because I don't have to fight with YouTube algorithms. I don't have to. It just gets to the people who want to see it, right? So it's going to be free. You can grab all 12 tutorials. One releases each day for 12 days in a row. You have 24 hours to watch them and it's going to be so much fun. The cards are fantastic. They're already ready for you and of course if you don't want the 24 hour time limit then you can grab a VIP pass I have 12 exclusive bonuses so it's kind of like a little 12 days of Christmas advent calendar and you can grab 12 tutorials 12 bonuses and if you get it within 30 minutes it's only $24 so yay all right I will see you there at the 12 days of Christmas let's get into the card tutorial all right, let's get started on today's tutorial. I'm grabbing some alphabet dies, and you can grab a sentiment, you can grab alphabet dies, whichever one you prefer, or like a word die is fine too. And I'm going to grab a piece of masking tape and I'm going to mask off an area. I'm trying to get the roughly the size of about half the die cut. So I put my alphabet dies on my white cardstock to kind of see how big the strip needs to be that's exposed. So two pieces of masking tape exposed about roughly an inch of cardstock for this particular alphabet set. And you want to mask off about half of whatever word die or alphabet set you may be using from your stash. So I'm going to grab some Versamark ink here and I'm going to ink up this strip here. And this is what is going to help me adhere my embossing powder. And just to keep things fairly um, clean and easy, I am going to go in not only with my ink pad, but one of the best tips I ever got was actually just recently to use a dabbing tool or an ink blending tool obviously it's a clean one and just go in and do this this helps you really it's much more accurate than going like pad to paper um, and you really will get everything you need on here so you want a good amount of embossing ink I know it might seem like I'm putting a lot on here but my pad is a little bit dry so I just want to make sure that that's all going to be okay so I'm removing the masking tape all right, I'm going to go ahead on the exposed area. I'm going to spread over my embossing powder. I put a lot of embossing powder because I just filter it back into the jar anyway, so why not? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my embossing powder, obviously like you would any other embossing project. Now what I usually do is let it sit on my desk for a minute or two just to completely cool down because if you put the die cuts on straight away, the die cuts might actually affect the embossing powder if it's still hot. So I'm just going to grab my alphabet dies here and I'm just going to line it up with the edge of the embossing powder and I'm using a larger alphabet die set that has stars in it. I think it's really cute for Christmas time. Any alphabet set or word die will do like I said before. All right so I'm going to go ahead grab the masking tape and die cut it through my machine and now you can see that I have a really different look rather than having a standard alphabet die just on my page I have this really cool sort of Christmassy glittery look to my embossing powder so another great way to use embossing powders by the way I'm sorry I had to keep recording this video over and over again I had a few people point out that I guess I say certain words in my videos way too often and now I feel super self-conscious when I do my voiceovers and so I was um, kept redoing this voiceover and being super unsure of myself so um, yeah, just keep in mind that if you leave comments like that, if it really bothers you, then it really bothers you, but maybe just not watch someone's channel if that's the case instead of pointing it out because when you point it out, then it just makes the person, the creator, really nervous to create again and create videos and I've stayed away from YouTube for a few weeks now because I just needed to, uh, yeah, build up my confidence again. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding the Christmas here. This is a really large alphabet die, so I have to kind of really be careful as to how I'm placing it. And I'm adding it with some foam tape. And you can see I'm adding it to a card panel. This card panel also went through my die cutting machine. This is a little bit of a different um, cover plate background in the sense that it doesn't cut anything. It just puts an imprint. It's like, I think it's called a debossing plate. So it just puts a pattern into your paper. And when I'm creating sort of a white on white card, it's one of my favorite things to do. I either use an embossing folder to create a white background, use something like this debossing folder, or use a stencil with some white paste, just to add some interest to the card so it's not super boring. 
So I'm adding this Christmas in sort of a funky little shape here and I'm adding this to my card base and that's the end of today's card. Like how easy is this to create? It's a super fun card, super easy. So if you like easy cards and you want to get brush up on your basics and well as be introduced to new techniques, don't forget that my 12 days of Christmas series is happening on October 12th. You can grab your free ticket now and be able to watch it completely free and I really hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.